All right, hello, Gary Simon of Corsetro.com, and today we're going to look at the fastest way of getting up and running with an Angular 2 project, and we'll do that through the Angular client. So if we go over to cli.angular.io, we'll see we have this get started page, and in a nutshell, the Angular client allows you to start new projects as well as generate components, routes, services, and pipes, which if of course you have no clue what Angular 2 is yet, we're going to get into those things in later videos very shortly. And it also allows you to serve your application and test it. So let's go ahead and click on get started, which redirects us to the GitHub page. And first for the prerequisites, you're gonna have to make sure that you have Node 4 higher installed along with MPM3 or higher installed. All right, so if you have something earlier than that, you're gonna have to upgrade and that can get a little bit tricky, but as long as you Google it, you'll get through it. Okay, so what we wanna do now is focus on installation. Now I've already installed Angular-CLI through the NPM. So I, if you do NPM install-G Angular-CLI, you'll only have to do that once. And I've already done that, of course. So once you get to that step or after it, we can go ahead and create a new project by utilizing the Angular client. So the very default starting point, of course, is ng and then the command new and then your project name. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use git bash here. And I'm just going to type in ng new and we'll call this angular dash fastest. All right, you can see it's uh, created the project folder. As you can see, we have source, we have app, we have the app component.css already created, .html created, the module you can see here that we've created. We also have our main.ts. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and pa or pause this just because it could take a little bit of time. All right, and there we go. It has it installed. And one of the great things about just running that single ng new command is the fact that it also will simulate or run the npm start after it. So if we open it up in our source code editor, we'll see that we already have the node modules started. So all we have to do is type in ng serve which was the equivalent equivalent here of the inside. Oh, I forgot to CD into that folder, angular dash, did I type in fastest? Yeah, here we go, ng serve. And that's the equivalent of course to the npm start command. And then we head on over right here to this URL, and there we go, app works. All right, so now it's looking for changes and it will refresh for us once we make those changes. Okay, so if you watch these three videos in succession, you'll see that there's you know basically three ways to get started with an Angular 2 project. And the Angular client has a great advantage to it in that it can speed up or it does speed up the development workflow because you can use, as you would see uh, in future videos, the generate command to automatically generate routes and components and pipes and et cetera, so that we don't have to manually import all of these different commands into other files, as you would see. But we're still going to cover that manual process because it's important to understand how those things work at a fundamental level. All right, so hopefully uh, you'll stick around because now in the next few videos, we're gonna actually get started with learning Angular 2 and how it all works. I'll see you later.